dudes. Um, just because uh, I've, you know, been down the road for a long enough time now and have learned a lot of the stuff I know through the school of hard knocks. And my hope is that other parents uh, don't learn a lot of the same stuff the hard way that um, I can be of encouragement and uh, kind of help people along in their journey as they're starting out. Doing a lot of what we're doing, but like, it's nice to see it from a male perspective. And um, we don't see a lot of the dads like speaking mm-hmm. out and like talking about their experiences, um, being dads of children with special needs. So I feel like your your representation was needed. And um, I'm so glad that you're using your platform to encourage other parents and to help the community in general, um, you know, supporting our parents' mental health needs. Because a lot of the time, I feel like because we're caretakers, we neglect ourselves so much. Part of my journey uh, in this whole thing as being a parent in a, in a different circumstance has been learning to um, sort of challenge myself in ways that I didn't know um, were possible. And being a dad of an autistic son is not something that I expected to be. And as a result of being one, I've really had to dig deep in a lot of aspects of my life and challenge myself to be better at a lot of different things, you know, relationally and my own uh, mental and spiritual wellness and all those things. And one of the things that came up in my career is that I sort of lost passion. And I thought to myself, well, I, I talk a big game about putting difficult things in my path so that I can overcome them and learn and grow and teach myself stuff. Um, If I'm going to practice what I preach while I'm uh, not having a good time with my current career, well, then as a 47-year-old man, why don't I just go ahead and reboot my entire life? And so... That's what we chose to do. We just we need to be doing things that bring us joy because it, it, in turn that, you know, helps us become better parents in the long run. If our children see us happy, it's going to give them a goal in the future to be like, hey, you know, my dad was really happy with his job. He was like really, you know, passionate about what he was doing and he wanted to go to work every day. So, you know, it, it kind of it's like a trickle down effect, you know, um, so it, 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 it helps our kids strive for better and to have a better quality of life in the long run. Well, and when we choose to take the hard road and make a big life change, our kids get to see our struggle too. And they get to see how we manage uh, difficult things and we can model uh, not just, Hey, we're, we're, we're not satisfied in our current scenario. Um, We want to be happy. We want our kids to see us happy, but also we want our kids to see us struggle a little bit um, and and figure out whatever it is that might be so that they know that when tough times come about in their own lives, like they can think back on how did mom and dad uh, conduct themselves and what did they do about this? And so, yeah. Growing up, I, I'm a I'm, I'm child of immigrants. I'm, like, I came to this country when I was, like, one years old. So, you know, the struggle is part of, like, the journey, right? Yeah. And our kids, we try to save them so much. I feel like, in a way, it's good and bad because, like, we try to save them so much from heartbreak and, like, you know, struggling. But also, that is what helped form us as adults, right? And <laughs> te- taught us to, like, persevere. Cause that's another thing like life is not always going to be easy so it, it's it's important for our kids to see us you know dealing with different types of difficulties and situations that are not uh, you know not everything is going to be cookie cutter and exactly how we want it to be yeah i don't luckily i don't have to do that so my physical fitness is really just a mental health thing and so yeah. um that's where i struggle is is being bogged down in the mental weight of uh all of the issues that we have as parents of special needs kids like what's going to happen in the future and what's going to happen tomorrow and how am i going to handle mm-hmm. this one thing or that thing and so um that that's really why I do that. And I just like you recognize that 
when you get that diagnosis or when you understand that your, your child's going to be different and you're going to take a different path, you, mm -hmm. um, you dive headlong into figuring out what that's going to be for your child. You find them help and you, you go to the ends of the earth to figure that out for them. And every parent I know, including myself, forgets to take care of themselves along the way. And then all of a sudden, all those things that you worry about, like who's going to be there for my kid? Well, <laughs> you, you, you got to worry about yourself if you want to go the distance yes. with your kid. And so um, my biggest encouragement and why I have that, uh, plat that Instagram account is simply to encourage moms and dads to, hey, well, I know it's, it's hard. Take a step back. Focus on yourself. We're going to make some lifestyle adjustments. We're going to do, I'm going to, you know, have some encouraging words. We're going to do some exercises together that do different things where, Hey, we, you, you've got a mountain of stuff you got to tackle every single day. And so mm -hmm. let's talk about our lifestyles and taking good care of ourselves in little small bite-sized chunks. Yeah. Like, and so I, I was kind of speaking to the, the spiritual component as, a. Uh, I'm a Christian and mm -hmm. my relationship with Jesus Christ is the only way I think I could, uh, be who I am and parent well. And so, um, I believe that if you're working on your, uh, holistic wellness, whether it's your body, mind, or your spirit, you need to be working on all three because they work in concert with one another. And if you're failing in any one of them, the others start to suffer too. And so along with the physical fitness that I do and the mental fitness that I do, I also work hard on my spirituality. So I'm reading my Bible every morning and I'm involved with my church. I'm on a couple different committees. In fact, I have a board meeting here in a few hours, but um, and and then surround myself with like-minded people who uh, are also in that same boat. It, and so we can, you know, iron sharpens iron sort of, um, you know, that spiritual component comes through a community of other people, uh, that believe the same way that I do.